It should be right there. But it'd be different abstract positions. I learned a lot from him with regards to thematically how to convey a message. And always with Michael, the message is of love. I mean, sometimes it's rebellious, but it always comes from a loving place. And it always came from a place of sensitivity and awareness. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I just got a bathe in the moonlight. Uh -huh. It's a simmer. What Michael's saying is he wants to be bathed in the moonlight at the end of A change of life. A change of life. Ooh. It's always inspiring to work with Michael on coming up with anything new because you know it's going to be special. It feels like a lot of pressure in the moment. And, you know, it would be Michael and Travis and our great um, assistant choreographer, Tony Testa, and sometimes myself, just in the mirror, just wiggling around, trying to come up with something new. puts his stamp of approval on it. It's pretty good. Times we would completely dismiss the old choreography or take the ideas from them that were great and put them on the back burner, come up with something else. You just wait for it, you know, or you just have to realize it's there and grab it. The real first time you see the army, mm -hmm. you should share some of it, mm -hmm. but the real army, if you're playing this to play the audience for the wow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the applause, you should show the real army there. This is all this led up to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in drill, we play with larger and small numbers, but the right. biggest, biggest number is at that okay. subtleties, you know, make you appreciate the sort of big explosive moments even better, you know, which he'd call peaks and valleys. We never did, you know, steps for the sake of doing steps. I just can't see us going funky there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, after doing all the military, right? Uh-huh. Um, I don't have to have it. I just love it. I like it. Much. I like it. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. I think he was able to sort of create his own school of dance and his own language that is speaking to dancers all over the world. Hold for applause, hold for applause, slow umbrella fade out. Center stage. And now he'll start. And that's the beginning of the song, okay? Yeah. So one light. Billy Jean was just his. I just belonged to him, and there was no need to guide or direct or... or you know, just basically, you know, start the music. Watching him do Billie Jean for the last time was so special. Not because it was the last day he did it, but because he was now in front of a completely new generation of dancers, and they were responding just like the others. was the culmination of all of the events that had brought him to where he was. His interpretation of it that day was different than any other. He took, you know, different liberties and made different choices than he ever had before.
At least we got a fill of it. God bless you. He's just so humble and it was just great to see him do that. And, you know, and he got a smile on his face because he's like, yeah, okay, they get it. They like it. We were all there seeing something that was historic, you know, more historic than we knew at the time. The Church of Rock and Roll. And 